Right. Um, so this is the last talk, and I'm very excited because that's the best paper for the conference. Um, the title is, yes, please, best paper. So I think in this world, we're going to talk about the uh, denouncing uh, attention sequential documentations. And this is a joint work with uh, my colleagues in visa research. Sorry about that. Uh, is it functioning? Okay. Thank you. So here's the agenda for today's talk. So I think uh, people talk about uh, many about the uh, sequential documentations, and I will give a short, uh, briefly introductions of uh, sequential documentations. And the, thir the second part, uh, we will just introduce our denoting sequential uh, documentations. And the third is just some experiment result, and the fourth is the conclusions. So sequential documentation is a uh, pretty standard problem. So we're trying to predict the next items based on user's history profile. So for example, if a user uh, purchase the t-shirts, or short or some shoes, we might try to predict if the next item is a water bottle. So this is a, a, it's just a standard uh, screenshot documentation problems. And in our visa, we also have uh, some uh, documented systems engines. So we, so if uh, somebody using the visa, visa credit card, if we purchase something in a restaurant and we might have the his record, for example, we might try to predict where's the next restaurant this users might, uh, might interesting in. And I think there's it's just a lot of a sequential documentation models. So the first one, like the Macron train, so it's a very simple one, but it seems that it can fail to capture the long range dependencies among the item sequence. And the, uh, I think also the traditional one is called the recurrent neural networks. So it's uh, also a very straightforward way. And it's very hard to train, so it cannot be trained in parallel. And I think recently, I think in this entire track, people talk about the transformers and how to using the transformers to uh, apply to the sequential documentations. And it, it, the performance is pretty good, and it can uh, training in parallels. So I think in this, what we trying to uh, find one interesting issue is that how to detect the noise item item dependencies in the transformers. Uh, for example, we just give item uh, transformers, and, uh, and we, might, we might not find there's some noise item in this sequence. So this is uh, basically uh, our overall frameworks for the proposals. So for example, in, in a sequence, we're trying to predict the next item is a MacBook. But we find in this kind of the history uh, transitions, it might contain like the back or so, some of the clothes. And these two items is not very close to the next item, uh, the, the target items, the MacBooks. But they, they do also have a two items very close to the MacBooks, like the iPhone and the headphone. Uh, so in the traditional transformer like the SAS race and also birth rate, uh, they didn't consider this kind of the uh, and item item dependencies. So in this work, we're trying to find these issues. I think this <coughs> this is a very a very practical scenario, especially in our visa. So if uh, people just using a visa credit card to purchase uh, in different merchants, and we're trying to predict the flock patterns of this kind of the, the users, and, and, and it's very hard to using the entire the, the sequence transition sequence to predict the, the flow patterns. Because the users can purchase online or offline, and they can purchase in different kind of merchants, like the Whole Foods, Best Buy, Target, any kind of, uh, kind of the merchants. So we have a very huge sequence, but the sequence, the dependency within this sequence is pretty weak. So this is, is especially our entire uh, motivations, uh, why we're trying to detect the noise in the, the sequence. And uh, I think iterative uh, attention is not a new story. And it happens, uh, people find this kind of redundancy attention in uh, natural language processing. As for example, in, in the sparse transformer or this kind of uh, longer transformer, they find that the, in, even in the NLP, so the sparse sequence or sparse attention map actually help to improve even the robustness or the efficiency of the uh, transformer models. So we, m many of our ideas we borrow from the NLP domain and how to apply this kind of sparse attention uh, in our design. Yeah, and, and this is the background. And the next that we're going to uh, focus on our design, design part. So our design is extremely simple. So the first one, we, we have the uh, top product self attention just using some of our soft map attention. And as I mentioned before, the soft map, so it always returns the non-zero attention scored. 
so it cannot achieve the zero attention score. So to, to do that, we just simply uh, apply a differential mask, the J arrow here, uh, using the element-wise products. The J we just uh, uh, subject to the binomial distributions. We have a pi UV here. Because our mask, we try to achieve a very simple functions. If the mask is close to zero, we just simply just remove this kind of the attentions. But if the, 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 the mask is close to the one, we just keep the attentions. So our mask only have a zero and one values. So as you can image, it's pretty similar to the dropout, but the dropout is kind of like a randomly dropout. So in our, these proposals, we try to learn about how to learn about the dropout patterns. So we just sub, uh, subject to the binomial distributions. Uh, and we also have a pi UV as a train trainable parameters. Yeah, and the other steps almost the same. So we didn't change the architectures of the transformers. Uh, yeah. And we also, yeah, because we're trying to uh, achieve the sparse attention, so we just simply apply the zero zero norm. Uh, uh, the result, the reason is that we're trying to achieve just only zero or one. So it's, we simply add a uh, zero zero norm. So zero zero norm, we just count how many non zero in our mask. How many, or, or in other words, how many attentions we're trying to keep. Yeah, and, and, and this is, uh, this is uh, the mask only contains zero and one. So it's not differentiable. So one way to handle this kind of issues is using like the Gumball soft mag attentions. But in the experiment, we find the Gumball soft mag they have a temperature team, and which is uh, it's not easy to train. So we're just using this kind of IKD paper. This is a very powerful one. Uh, it's called the uh, argumentation reinforcement merge algorithm. So in, in this way, it's totally, um, uh, there's not any extra hyperparameters to use. It can directly do to training your discrete uh, variables especially for our mask, J, here. And the, the second thing we find that we also find there's a recent study in this ICMO paper. It says that the standard top, uh, top product set attention is now deep trick continuous. So which means that if we just add a simply permutations uh, permutations to our input sequence, it might cause a huge a different output here. And one to, to solve this one is we just add a Jacobian regularization to our self attention block. So at least by this kind of uh, this kind of Jacobian regularizations, we can achieve a local uh, lip trick continuous as I sh uh, show in the papers. Yeah. And this is a Jacobian functions, and, and the other F is our transform block. And computer the Jacobian is is very expensive in in the neural networks. So in this way, we adopt a very faster algorithm called called uh, robust learning with the Jacobian regularizations. So it's simply just uh, transforming this kind of the popular norm of the Jacobian to a sampling algorithm. So in the, in, in the, in the right-hand side, it's just simply some of eta from the Gaussian distributions. And it's just some inner product between the Jacobian and us, us with uh, eta here. And this, this algorithm is pretty fast, and, and, and it doesn't take much time to compute the Jacobian. In our framework, we just uh, combine these three terms together. So the first term is the original loss functions for the transformers, and the second term is our mask, our mask of functions. We're trying to uh, achieve the sparse patterns, and the last term is the Jacobian localizations. So it's totally we, we only add the two term, uh, two terms, and the other like the architectures of the transformer, we didn't change it. So it's a very general plugin. We can plug in this uh, technique to any transformer models. And the third part, we are going to introduce our experiments. So we use a very standard uh, benchmark, or five benchmark, like movie then, and beauty game, uh, and, and Amazon movie and Steam. So we have uh, this kind of a uh, statistic uh, and, and the sequence transitions. And here's our result. So we, we mainly compare with our four transformer algorithm. I think that's SAS race, also buffer race. Also, the, the third one transformer is can also considered a tem temporal uh, signal here. And we, we're using a head rest and also NDCG to measure the performance. And in this way, in the, the sampling, we simply, in, in the inference, we simply 100 uh, uh, items with, as well with the one ground true and to the linking. Yeah. And this is basically our result. As we can see, we can improve the performance of our original transformers uh, if in the last four. Uh, load. It's just, a, it's just that we, we can just uh, simply plug in our differential MAC and also with some Jacobian localizations, the, the system performance can improve 
average maybe 10% uh, across different dioceses. Yep, and this this is our, our full attention map. Uh, we compare the attention uh, attention map uh, just in the infant state. We just put randomly plot uh, ten items to see where's the item item dependency in in our denoting map. We if yeah, because we're using the math, so we can pull in some of the like the iterative uh, attentions here. And especially in our visa, we also have a visualization visualization team to how to visualize the flock patterns come to different the transition sequence. And this is basically our conclusions. Uh, in this work, uh, we, we try to institute the idea of uh, denoting item item dependencies uh, for better training the self attention uh, sequential recommendations. So, which is a great largely reduce the negative impact of the noise item. And we also propose a very general uh, framework with the differential mark to achieve the, the sparse patterns. So, which can um, pulling pulling the inductive information to uh, uh, end to end. So, it's totally trainable. And in the third part, we propose some of our bio gradient estimate how to optimize our binary max and also to copy and localizations uh, for a transformer to further improve its robustness. I think in original paper, we also try to, uh, like say, given a sequence, we don't really insert 10% uh, of the noise item, which is not in the original data, training data sets. And as long as we increase the noise rate, uh, we, we see that our models can still keep the a uh, reasonable performance compared to the original transformers. Yep, and this is basically uh, our, our talk. Any questions here? Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have some questions online. Um, the most, um, well, the most voted one is um, people are asking if you think this approach would be useful for NLP problems or whether a similar approach exists in NLP yeah, problems as well. Yeah, I believe so because uh, my our original idea is inspired from the NLP domain, especially the sparse, uh, sparse transformers or called a local form. So in the NLP, they find that the the attention, the dense attention, is sometimes very not unnecessary. So they're trying to achieve the sparse attentions. Yes, I believe it can apply to the NLP task. Okay. Um, Another question is um, if you use the same mask for different attention heads. Uh, so, sorry about that. If you have used the same um, mask on different attention heads. A, a, uh, no, so if for each attention mask, we're using a, a differential mask, corresponding differential mask uh, for each head. Yeah. And I think in the screenshot of recommendations, people using a very few head, like the two head, or even sometimes one head can achieve the best performance. It doesn't like the NLP, we need to uh, a head or something, yeah. Okay, so um, one last question is, what's the relative impact of the sparsity term versus the Jacobian regularization? Oh, oh we, we do include uh, uh, a studies in the papers. I think in this world, we find that the differential map is have a much more powerful than the Jacobian regularizations. Okay. Thank Great. you. So um, let's, uh, thanks again. Um, the speaker. Um. Yes. Oh, this is this is yours. Okay, thank Best you. paper. Um, thank you. So much. Thank you. Um, we have now uh, a poster session and a break, and the next uh, session is at four on domain-specific recommendations.